to Strike Stroke. My name is Dr. Mectus. Today, I would like to talk to you about cortical blindness. We're going to focus on acquired cortical blindness and specifically due to stroke. In this case, the eyes work fine. The nerve that's responsible for visual perception works fine as well, but part of the brain that's responsible for decoding what the eyes are perceiving is damaged. The primary visual cortex is located in the occipital lobes is responsible for making sense or decoding what the eyes are perceiving. Cortical blindness occurs in the setting of stroke when there's abrupt blood supply cutoff affecting both of the posterior cerebral arteries that is responsible to feeding the occipital lobes on the right and left portion of the brain. The most common cause of cortical blindness is an embolic stroke, meaning a clot that forms in the heart traveled through the posterior circulation and obstructing both of the posterior cerebral arteries at the same time, leading to ischemic stroke in the occipital lobe. Individuals who suffered ischemic stroke to occipital lobe or have cortical blindness cannot see or fixate their vision on an object, cannot track, and in severe cases, some individuals have denial of their vision loss, and this is called Anton syndrome or Anton Babinski syndrome. As you can imagine, this does affect quality of life and most individuals will suffer from depression. So in summary, today we talked about cortical blindness. This is a scenario where there's nothing wrong with the eyes or the visual pathway. The part of the brain that's responsible for decoding what the eyes see is damaged. And this occurs in the occipital lobe where the primary visual cortex is located. And this happens when there's abrupt blood supply cutoff affecting both of the posterior cerebral arteries that branches up the basal artery feeding the occipital lobes. And the most common type of stroke is an embolic stroke. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this information useful. On the next episode, we'll talk about cocaine and how it's related to stroke. And always remember to dial 911 if you or someone near you suddenly can't see, see can't, can't speak, can't walk, or can't feel. Let the operator know that you or someone near you might be having a stroke so that you or the individual near you can be transported to the nearby comprehensive or primary stroke center for rapid stroke analysis and tailored treatment.